This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Stream 11 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on an HP Stream 11 laptop computer. Uh, this computer has a battery that is hard to remove, so we're not going to remove it but you have to make sure that the laptop is off and the way to tell that is to look at this power button. If this power button is blinking or lit up, that means the laptop is on. To turn it off, either turn it off using the windows or do a long press of this button, press it down for four seconds and the laptop will turn off. Once you turn off, we can start working on this laptop and I'll show you one more thing before we get started. The model number, the model number is kind of hard to find on this. So it's, you look on the back where the barcode is and it says model 11-D010NR. So this is for a non-touch version of the HP Stream 11 laptop computer. Okay, next thing to do is to remove this screen bezel. Before we do that, we're going to show you the tools we're going to use for this. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a hobby knife or X-Acto knife that's used to pry things open and to lift up adhesive tape. And we have a pair of metal tweezers that's to remove any screws that may be stuck and to manipulate cables. Okay, so like I said before, we have to remove the screen bezel. Before removing the screen bezel, we have to remove two screws at the bottom. For this model, HP hid these screws very well. If you did not know any better, you would not think there's any screws there. But there are, they're hiding behind some plastic covers, and you have to lift the covers up. So using the hobby knife, there's a corner, go to this corner here, and gently try to lift up the corner of this this plastic cover. It's almost the same color as their bezel, so it's a little bit hard, but start at the corner and use your fingertips to remove this plastic cover, like so, and you see a screw exposed in. Let's put the plastic cover to the side and do the same thing here. So, using the hobby knife, try to reach in and grab the corner of the plastic cover and remove the plastic cover again and then we can get to the screws. Okay, for these screws you have to get them at an angle so make sure that the screen is tilted all the way back. The screwdriver will be at an angle and the screw is very small. The, the place where you engage the screw is very small. So in order not to strip the screw, press down pretty hard. Press down with pretty decent force and start to remove the screws. And that's so not to strip the screws. And then you can remove the screws. And for each step, for each step of the procedure where screws are involved, you put them in a separate pile and you keep them in the order in which you remove them. And that helps you keep track of which screws go where when you're putting the laptop back together. Same thing on this one. Press down pretty hard and engage the screw and remove it. And use the same procedure to screw the screws back in. So actually let's try to screw it back in. So seat the screw in the opening and when the screw is fairly flat Try to screw it back in. So it may take a couple of tries. That's been done before. So there it is. So if at first you don't succeed, try try again and remove the screw again. Okay, so next we're going to snap off the screen bezel. In order to do that, put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift up and 
out. In doing this, work your way around the screen. And if you get stuck at a certain point, you can uh, come back to that point later when you loosen up other parts and it'll be easier. So we'll snap off the corner and do the same thing on the bottom, like so. And then we can just remove the screen bezel, like so. We're just rocking it back and forth and removing the screen bezel. Okay, once the screen assembly is exposed, we can see that in order to remove the screen from the screen assembly, we need to remove two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. Tilting the screen back, we remove all four screws. And once again, we start a separate pile for this set of screws so we don't mix them up. In this case, it's not too complicated, but sometimes it is. So got to have a good procedure. That's three and four. Once we do that, we grab the screen by the corner and gently lower the screen and tilt it down like so. We can see that the connector is exposed and it's covered by adhesive tape, so we need to lift up the adhesive tape. What we do is we use our hobby knife to lift up a corner of it and gently lift it up after that. and make sure not to damage the connector. Once we lift up the adhesive tape, grab the connector by the back and gently pull it out and the connector is disengaged. I'm gonna put, put it back in to show you how to do it. To put it back in, you just slide it back in. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. And this is what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. You can pause the video right here to get a good look. Okay, so let's pull the connector out and let's look at the screen. So let's actually one more step. There's some adhesive tape that's holding the video cable to the screen. What we want to do is step, remove this adhesive of tape from the front so basically just peel it off like so and the screen is free. Let's take a look at this screen. The part number is N116BGE-L32. This is a 11.6 inch LED slim screen with the connect with the screw brackets on the sides. It's a fairly common screen but there are several flavors of it so you want to make sure that you get the right flavor of it and the best way to do it is match up the part number and make sure that the brackets are mounting brackets are on the side. The other thing to notice about this screen it has a matte finish. Um, sometimes these screens have a matte finish, sometimes they have a glossy finish. Usually it's just a matter of personal preference. They work the same, but if you insist on either matte or glossy, you have to make sure that's what you're getting because it's not always guaranteed. In our case, we sell mostly, almost all the time, glossy screens. Okay, so uh, to order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, um, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, which will guide you to the right screen, and then you can order online. Uh, what you get with us is that this toolkit comes for free with the screen. Also, the screen is shipped free using priority mail, so you'll get it in two to three days. And also, we guarantee you compatibility. We guarantee you that we'll send you the right screen, and if not, we'll make it right for you. We also have a two-year warranty on defects on our screen, and we have free email technical support. If you have any questions along the installation, please send us email, and we'll help you through it. Okay, once you do order the screen and do get it in, reconnect the connector like I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, 
put the two screws in at the top, two screws on the bottom, snap the screen bezel back on, and you put the two screws in at the bottom. I, the ones at the bottom might take a little bit of time because they're tricky. Just make sure that they're engaged straight on and then screw it in. And then put the screw covers back in. And that should be it, and you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.